Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. It's your girl Nosh. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for hitting the like button and thank you so much for hitting the uh, notification bell. Um, guys, make sure you do hit that bell because every time I post up, um, you guys will be able to tell when a video goes on. And the other thing is if I am MIA and I tend to come back, you guys will be the first ones to be notified that I put a video up. Um, my apologies that I was away, but um, I am back. I'm here now. And I wanted to say I hope everyone is doing good. I hope everyone's having a good season. Everyone's enjoying their holiday time with their families. Um, this reading tonight is for Aries. I am going to be doing the last part of December going into New Year's. Uh, so basically what's coming up for the next uh, couple of weeks that's, that, that we're left in December. Uh, we are going into the Capricorn season uh, tomorrow as we speak, the 21st, which is going to bring a lot of changes, a lot of good changes, I want to say. Um, for those Aries that are wondering out there, good changes as in what? Balance. A lot of balance is going to be restored. A lot of financial stability is going to be restored. A lot of emotional balance is going to be restored because um, past, you know, um, months you can say that we've, we've been riding through, we've been riding through basically the Venus in retrograde, then then we have Venus go direct, then we have like Neptune going direct. Um, we had a lot of planets, a uh, total of five major planets that were either going direct or going retrograde and that was really putting an effect on everyone um, as a collective you can say. So if you guys felt a little weird, um, a little off, because I know Aries are usually their, their you know, bubbly selves. Um, I wouldn't say more bubbly, that's uh, Leo's. I would say Aries are the, um, I, I, I like to call you guys the beast. Um, beast in the sense where you guys can be calm if you wanted to, but you guys are always on the go. You guys are always moving. Um, I've never met an Aries that is not moving. Um, most of the Aries that I know are very... Uh, on the go type of people they can't sit still they're always either creating or working or doing something um, that is that is benefiting them or uh, growing them or growing their knowledge or growing their skill sets or anything in that nature I just feel like Aries is just a sign that it's pure fire like fire is constantly moving constantly going that's how Aries is so let's find out what's going on for you guys um, for this ending part of December and uh, what moves are taking place and uh, how you guys are gonna get there well, not really how you guys are going to get there, but what's moving and shaking for you guys, all right? So, Ascending Masters, Spirit Guides, Angel, Universe, can you please give me three cards? Three cards for Aries. Three cards for Aries. Well, I already got one. Can I have two more? Two more cards for Aries. Two more cards for Aries. Okay. <clears throat> I hope everybody's enjoying the holidays that are coming up, taking time out. That'll be good. I know you guys need it. I know you guys need to rest. All right, so you guys actually showed up in your own reading. You have the Emperor. Why isn't this focusing? Sorry. There we go. You guys have the Emperor. Mm -hmm. You guys have the Queen of Pentacles mm -hmm. and you have the Devil upside down. This is good. Mm -hmm. This is actually pretty good stuff. Starting with the Emperor. As you know, or if you don't know, the Emperor is the sign of Aries. Uh, the Emperor is the person who sits on his throne. He... I wouldn't say he's like um, cold and calculated. No. That's not the words I want to use. I want to say he's very he's very in control. This is someone who's very dominant. Um, either you, uh, you guys are Aries, so you guys whatever whatever you guys are involved in right now, you guys are on top. You guys are dominant on it. You guys are controlling it. If it's a relationship, if it's um, career, if it's money, you guys are on top of it. You guys are controlling it. You guys are being the Aries in it. Um, nothing is scattered. Especially when it comes to you guys right now, nothing is scattered. You guys have your hands on it. If it was something that you were wishy-washy about, or if, if it was something that you guys were thinking you should do, which you should not do, the card coming up as an emperor like this is telling me that you guys got a handle on it. Okay? Which, the reading will make more sense, and the emperor card will make more sense after I go over um, the other two cards. The Queen of Pentacles. 
The Queen of Pentacles is a very beautiful card. It's it's a card of abundance. It's a card of money coming in. It's it's basically saying um, I have what I need and I'm fine. Uh, being sufficient, self sufficient. Um, if this was a love reading you're looking at or a relationship reading, it would kind of show you like the Aries is actually in in a mind frame where it's or in a state of frame that state of frame. What is a state of frame? A mind state that's saying that you know what if. If I have you, it's fine. If I don't have you, it's okay. I'll be fine. Um, you guys aren't depending on anything anymore, which is the next card, the devil upside down. There's there's no dependence issues where you don't need to be with someone. You're not. It's not like, oh, you need to be in love or you need to be in a relationship. You guys are absolutely fine the way you are. If you're single, you're good and you're happy and you're enjoying the time. If you're in a relationship, you're good. You're okay. Everything is good. Everything's flowing. The best thing about this reading is this card right here. I love it when this card comes up because this kind of shows that, you know what, there's no more codependency. There's no more um, obsession with something or anything. You guys aren't um, attached to anything anymore. Yes, that's a perfect word. There's no longer any attachments. This, is, this card comes up usually when the uh, cords are cut to something that's keeping you down. Keeping you down, keeping you bound to something. You're no longer tied and bound to anything anymore. Because think about it, when you see the card like this, it's two people and you see how they're tied together with chains and, and of course you have the devil in between holding them. Um, it kind of shows a, a path to where you've had prior addictions, um, you had uh, overindulgence, you had something, you know, maybe you were having too much sex, maybe you were having, you know, too many cigarettes, too many cupcakes, too many, too many of anything is bad for you and, and that's when the devil comes in when you're doing it too much um, and you're not understanding what moderation and balance is. Maybe you were thinking about too much, uh, someone too much, um, <clears throat> obsessing about a situation too much, obsessing about something, some, some situation's nature and how to change it or whatever. Overall, this card, this way, I would say is not, not that it's not good, nothing is bad or good. Um, it's all perspective. Um, so I would say when a card is like this, it's just showing that you have attachment towards something that is very toxic and it's not good for you. You know, you need to let it go. Maybe eating too many brownies or cupcakes is, is not good late at night and you need to stop. And you did. You let it go. You're not depending on it anymore or you're not in it anymore. So you're no longer in a toxic relationship. You're no longer eating cupcakes and brownies at night. You're no longer talking to that person that, you know, um, was bringing you down. That could, that could be a toxic situation right there. And now going back again here. Now let's break this reading down. The Emperor. The Emperor can go for someone if there's, if this is, um, let's say you're, it's a career oriented re uh, reading. <clears throat> you're, and then you got the Emperor card. The Emperor card is basically saying that, you know what? You have all your ducks in order you've looked over all the contracts you've signed everything and you feel okay it's kind of being it's kind of like sitting on top of your game you know if, if something was coming in and you were confused about it you're no longer confused about it because you saw what you needed to sit you know see you got it you understood it and you went with it and the decision you made was good on the other hand this also is a card saying that you know what this is if you look at the card itself just take a look at it and if there's a glare i'm sorry about the lights guys the guy is sitting on a throne, both hands clasping the sides of the chair. And even the look on his face, I'm going to say it's, it's a little dominant, domineering. His, I, I mean, in a storybook, this, I guess this would be the guy that's like the grandpa or like the king of the castle. And there you go. I hit it on the head. The king of the castle. That's exactly how you're feeling right now, that you you made it whatever you were struggling through whatever you were trying to get through you made it okay again going back to the queen of pentacles with the queen of pentacles again you're sitting there on your throne now this is i, I know it's a woman sitting on her throne but it, it could it could be anyone you know there's no gender the cards are not gender specific to me pacific specific to me um, if you're a man watching this, this could be you. If you're a woman watching this, this could be you. You're sitting on your throne, and as, as I was saying earlier, you're self-sufficient. You're not worried about anything. You don't need for nothing. You don't need to go ask anyone for anything. You don't need anything in your life to come in to complete you. You're already complete. This is the best place to be, Aries, because I know you guys were struggling to figure out who you were and where you want to go and, and, and where do you want to end up. Um, 
And at this moment in time, going into the end of the year, it's, it's beautiful because you know what? You're not worried about who you are anymore. Worried about how the world is going to accept you. Worry about, you know, um, do I have enough money to do this? You, you got it. You have enough to move forward. You have enough to, you know, if you want to stay where you are, it's good. If you want to move from here, it's, it's good as well, too. There's, there's no, there, when I see the Queen of Pentacles, again, it's abundance. There, there is no draining forming, you know, form, formation here. It's nothing but ab abundance. It's nothing but wealth. It's nothing but being, I'm not going to say happy in the sense. I would say complacent. So again, if, if you're looking at this for a love reading, um, you're kind of like, if you're single, you're good. If you're not single, you're good. You're absolutely okay with it. I feel like this was a pretty straightforward reading. Um, the Devil card, definitely. Uh, let's see, is there anything else you want to let Aries know for the upcoming weeks? Is there anything else Aries needs to know for the upcoming weeks? Anything else? Judgment. Oh, you're getting a second chance at something. Mm -hmm. Something's going to come right back around. When you have judgment in your cards, it pretty much means the heavens are looking at you and they're going to give you a second chance at something. So if it was, you know, something that you lost money-wise, you're going to get a second chance at it. If it was something you lost relationship-wise, you'll get a second chance at it. Love, wealth, health. Maybe you're taking, you're taking care of yourself a little better than before, so you're getting a second chance at your health. Um, maybe it was someone that you were thinking about and, you know, you want to give that a second try, a second go at it. It's good to go. That That's what you're getting. And then again, also think of it this way too. This could be vice versa. Um, whoever you're connecting with or who you're thinking about could be thinking about giving you a second chance as well too. Um, and even going back to the entire reading, um, again, that person could be feeling like, you know what, that they... To me, honestly, I don't feel like this is anybody else but you, Aries. This, this is definitely you. And for the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like... This could be either you or the person that you're thinking about, that you guys are both good where you are. You know, you both, the, again, I'm going to say, if, if both of you guys in a relationship or not in a relationship, this goes for the uh, Aries watching and the cross watcher watching for the Aries. Uh, both of you are somewhere where it's a positive state, where it's either if you're with this person, it's okay, you're good. If you're not with this person, it's okay. You're gonna you're gonna be fine. Same thing goes for the cross watcher. So if you're chasing Aries, you you might as well just chill out and sit back because they're good where they are. And I'm sorry, don't hate me, cross watcher, for saying that, but hey, it's the truth. It's written in the cards, right? If it's written in the stars, it's written in the cards. So then you have your judgment card, like I said. Again, either this could either be you or this could be someone that you're connecting with. Um, you guys are gonna get a second chance at it. Hmm. So that was your reading, Aries, guys. Um Tell me how you feel about it. You could leave comments below. Um, I'm really interested in seeing what you guys are getting a second chance at. This is awesome. Especially, you know, if it being the season that, you know, that it's Christmas, it's holidays coming up. A lot of people aren't talking to each other. A lot of family members are always kind of, you know, at distance with each other. I would always say, you know what? Forgive and forget. Release and flow. That's the best thing. Let it go. Um, you guys got a lot of good things coming. And congratulations on, on, on you guys who, you know, let go of something like let you if you let that toxicity go in your life that's a good thing um definitely moving forward um yeah so that's your reading guys thank you so much for watching i hope to see you guys again next year and again if you haven't please hit the subscribe button and the like button and the notification bell so it tells you every time i post stuff all right take care guys see you next time